I've got some tips and tricks to share with you guys today, all about freeze drying candy to help you get great results every time. Candy is definitely one of my favorite things to freeze dry. As you, I'm sure, have seen many of my other previous candy videos, today I kind of wanted to do a refresher on using candy mode in your Harvest Right freeze dryer. I found some cute Valentine's candies when I was shopping at Walmart yesterday that I want to try in the freeze dryer. Most of them are things I have not tried yet, so we're going to see how they turn out using my tips and tricks. And I'm wearing pink because I'm doing Valentine's candy today. Let me show you what I got. I pretty much just raided the Valentine's section in my Walmart to see what types of candies I thought would maybe work in the freeze dryer. They had these cute Jolly Rancher hearts. I can't tell if these are gummy or if they're not gummy or what. I'll try one when I open them and see, but I thought we would give these a try. They had these cute Valentine's gummy bears, which are pretty much just the red and white ones, which are my favorite ones. So we're going to see how those turn out. Heart shaped Krabby Patty candies. These are adorable. We're going to try these. And these darling trolley gummy hearts. I think they're gummy hearts. We'll see how these turn out. First, we want to get the machine into candy mode. And I do that by pressing customize. I'm resetting, I'm increasing my dry temp to 150 degrees. My dry time I'm gonna do for four hours. You can skip the freeze times because when you run candy mode, it's just gonna skip that anyway. So it gives you a 15 minute cool down process before you can load up your candy. So my first tip for freeze drying candy comes to what you're actually putting your candy on on the trays. I have found that it works best if you line your trays with parchment paper, especially if you're, if there's some candies that are kind of stubborn, try lining your tray with parchment paper. It just for some reason helps and it also helps for less cleanup when you are done. I did a terrible job of cutting parchment paper for my trays, but you set the candy on it and it'll stay in place and it's no big deal. I have seen on Amazon that you can buy parchment paper pre-cut to the size of your trays. In fact, right when I'm done with this video, I'm going to go order that pre-cut parchment paper because I'm always fighting with the parchment paper because it's all curly and to get it to lay nice and flat on the trays. I want the pre-cut stuff. I will link that in the video description below if you want to check it out too. I hope it's still available. I know I've seen it before. so. When I do get it, I will definitely show some demonstrations here on my channel for you guys. But I got my parchment paper. I'm now gonna load up my candy onto my trays. Okay, another tip I have for you is I hate these food service plastic loose gloves. They're really hard for getting the candy in and out of the bags, on the trays, things unwrapped. Get food grade rubber gloves that are nice and tight fitting to your hands will make your life much easier. These are definitely more affordable, but I would do the rubber gloves. It just will make your packing of your food much easier. Here are how my trays look. I did not over pack these. This is my first run of this type of candy. So it's just kind of my first experiment. And then if they turn out good, then I will make more. These are the Krabby Patties, which my kid loves these things. They just love them. Okay, these are the Jolly Ranchers. I just realized that they are jelly beans. So I don't think these are gonna do anything in the freeze dryer. Jelly beans usually are something that do not work. I left some on there just in case, but I don't think they're gonna do anything. So to take up some more space, I threw on some Nerds Gummy Clusters. These I have done before and are so good. These are the Trolley Hearts. Aren't they so cute? Love those. And there's the Gummy Bears. So the next steps are to close your drain valve. And then over here on the screen, you want to make sure you select candy 
process to on, continue. I am going to warm the trays and I am gonna add 10 minutes of warming. Gummy candies do better when you um, warm the trays first. I also have put candies into the oven before freeze drying them, like Starburst. If you get them fairly melty before you freeze dry them, they will puff up much bigger. I didn't do these in the oven with some of those gummies today. I'm just gonna warm the trays and see if that helps. If it doesn't turn out too good, then the next batch I may try in the oven, but we will see. And look forward, looking forward to see how these turn out. They're gonna be delicious. I'm thinking of being ambitious and making freeze dried candy valentines for my kids for their classroom valentines this year. All of the kids at the school know me as the freeze dried candy lady. When I am working there, they have the kids just call me freeze dry. Hey freeze dry, hey freeze dry lady, hey candy lady. They're always asking me for candy. So I thought it would be fun, at least for the kids in my kids' classes, to be able to share some freeze dried candy with them. I do have some little bags. Somewhere. I have little teeny tiny ones that I think I could put some freeze dried Skittles in and that would make a cute Valentine and put print a cute little card with some type of saying. If I do that, I will share it with you guys if you want some ideas on how to create freeze dried Valentines because that could be fun. Another tip about the time your candy takes in the freeze dryer. Most candies I have a lot of success with doing them for four hours like Skittles, um, the gummy clusters, caramels, most things are done in four hours and turn out great. So that's always my go-to when I'm trying something new. I have heard from others that certain candies you do need to leave in much longer. There's some candies that just don't work and no matter how long you leave them in the freeze dryer for, they don't fully freeze dry. And that's just because of the ingredients in the candy don't work well with freeze drying. Um, I don't always have good luck with certain gummy candies. So I'm a little concerned about the gummy bears and those gummy hearts, but we can only find out by experimenting. So that's what we're doing today. I will catch you guys in four hours when these are done to see our results. Welcome back. It has been four hours. Literally, just as I said that, my freeze dryer is beeping that our four hours is up and it is ready to get the candy out and it is looking a little wild in there. Up here on my screen, I'm just going to, uh, first I gotta open the drain valve over there. And I'm gonna just hit defrost because I am done with my freeze dryer. It looks like we had some candy kind of explode in here, <laughs> which is not very good because that means it could have possibly gotten in my vacuum pump. So after, I am done with this. I'm gonna check my pump and change the oil because if crud gets in your oil, it can definitely mess up your machine. So I'm gonna change my oil after this. But let's see how these look. <laughs> okay, these ones are like stuck to the top. I might have to pull those out later. <laughs> there are the hearts. As I predicted, the jelly beans didn't do anything, but the nurse clusters look great. And these are the Krabby Patty hearts. They definitely like puffed up a little, but not as much as I was expecting. Okay, these gummy bears went insane. Are you kidding me? <laughs> Holy cow. These just turned out crazy. I mean, they just completely crush. <laughs> These are the little um, Charlie rings. We'll have to try those. These are the jelly beans that didn't do anything. Nerds gummy clusters, always delicious. And these definitely seem like they freeze dried, but they didn't puff up too much. I normally have my kids with me to do my taste test of my freeze dried candy, but it's kind of late at night and they are in bed. So I'm gonna have to try this myself. 
Okay, I am gonna go for this green guy. This is one of those Krabby Patties. Yeah, that's so gummy. Not good. I don't know if that just needed longer time or what. This one's okay. I just don't love the flavor of the candy itself, but this pink side definitely fully freeze dried and is crunchy and melt in your mouth. Here is the Nerds Gummy Cluster. This is definitely a customer favorite of people who love the freeze dried candy. Those are always so good. Next, I am gonna go for the heart gummy that puffed up the most. I don't know if this fully freeze dried all the way, it's hard to tell, so. Oh, this one is super good. It's just airy and crunchy, delicious. I really like this one. Now I have no idea what to do with this guy. Holy cow, okay. I just broke off a piece and I'm gonna attempt to eat this. It's flying everywhere. Okay, now I'm gonna have to vacuum after this, but let's, cheers. It's actually very tasty. This one is hilarious. You can see the little gummy bear's body here <laughs> that didn't freeze dry. But the rest of him exploded. It's like his head blew up. <laughs> Those are awesome. This was so fun. A lot of them worked. I'm still gonna try a jelly bean. It just tastes like a jelly bean. If you have any questions about freeze drying candy, let me know in the comments below. I will show you the bags that I use for bagging up my candy. What's that? I'm not bagging up this candy. This was just for our experiment. I will probably bag up the nerds, but the rest, I'm just gonna put it in a Ziploc baggie and let my kids try tomorrow just for fun. I'm not gonna waste my nice Mylar, Mylar bags on these. But these are my favorite Mylar candy storage bags that I like to use. This is the size that I typically sell my candy in. It's about four and a half inches wide and seven and a half inches tall. Um, this is a bag of freeze dried big hunks. I love the big hunks, they are so good. But that's what this is. I like these bags, you can heat seal the top but they also still have a zipper so that if you are eating it, you can still close it if you're not eating the whole thing in one sitting. I get these on Amazon. I will link them in the video description below if you are looking for candy bags and they have all different kinds of colors. I just love this silvery color. If you're interested in getting a freeze dryer for yourself, if you wanna start your own freeze dried candy business, or if you just want to have the fun of freeze drying candy for your family, along with food and all the other amazing things that my favorite thing this freeze dryer does. I have a link in the video description below where you can go to Harvest Right's website and shop for freeze dryers there. I believe they are running a special right now. I think they're $300 off freeze dryers currently. You can check out what the prices are when you click the link down there and see what you have. I have a medium sized, just for reference, um, I do not have the upgraded pro version. The upgraded version has five shelves and mine has four. So get yourself that pro one. You will be glad that you did. I am so glad that you are here. I hope you enjoyed this candy video today. Again, if you got any questions, leave them in the description below. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, DIY Freeze Dry, and you wanna see more things that I do in my freeze dryer, Hit that subscribe button, give the video a thumbs up if you liked it. And I will catch you all on the next freeze drying adventure. Bye.